Joe Zekas, I'm in West Bucktown today with Melissa Govederica from Sergio and Banks and looking at a very sleek international style kitchen in a single family home. Very nice, Melissa. Thank you. Terrific island. Great island. Big, big island. And the island has storage on both sides. You've got plentiful storage here and on the other side, a lot of storage as well with your dishwasher. Great deep sink, um, farmhouse style. And again, you've got your style stone cabinets. You've got your drawers that light up. I don't think I've seen this cabinet uh, configuration before. Do you know? It that? has. Yes, yes, yes. It was done in 1738, 1710. Ah. So it's a very popular cabinet design. Gives you enormous cabinet space. And when you mention those addresses, you're talking about just uh, some of the great deal of new construction that there is over in this area. Yes. Yeah. Give, give me the basics on the home here. We're looking at uh, bedroom, bath count, price range. Well, we're looking at a four bedroom slash five bedroom. You can turn the home theater system into, or excuse me, the home uh, theater room into a bedroom. It has a closet in it. Uh, three and a half bathrooms, um, large eating kitchen, living, formal dining room, butler's pantry. Great lower level space. And a very unusual south facing wall of windows in the kitchen. Great here. wall of windows, gives you a lot of light. Because we do face south, it's great. And this door is west of the door, so if you get an enormous amount of light. And a terrific butler's pantry that I'm looking at here, wet bar. Again, butler's pantry, wet bar, uh, more space. We're just not limited to cabinet space here it's just plentiful downstairs we'll also see an additional wet bar and a formal dining room also formal with room, yeah. south facing windows yeah. the dining room is beautiful with this i don't know if you can get a shot of the coffered ceiling with the hidden lights the rope lighting inside real dramatic you can also hang a, a fixture it's pre-wired for that and you've got this lovely double-sided fireplace that separates the living space from the dining space which is really nice people do like that a lot very sleek almost high-tech look to the finishes in the living and dining yeah, area here very, which is indicative of this building central vacuum again in the house um, we've got two laundry rooms one upstairs one downstairs we also have zone heating and cooling this is a great wall of windows, isn't it? It sure is, and you can see again uh, directly across the street to get a fix on the scale of the new construction activity that's taking place over here. Ultimate Home did those new constructions. We closed on those last year. Mm -hmm. Duplex up, duplex down in each building. And we're just under $800,000 here. Seven ninety nine. Got a Wildmaster bath for a home in this price range. It is a wild master bathroom. Not too many bathrooms have this double door entry. Isn't this awesome? Yep. Yeah. And the great high ceilings. And high ceilings. Uh, yeah. Fill from the ceiling tub. Big size air bubble jacuzzi. These eight foot doors are really dramatic. And they're all through the, first, the second level. So it really gives you great ceiling height. Again, we've got double windows over here facing west for dramatic light. Two very large double windows, which is super for a bathroom, particularly a master bath. And you've got your um, rain shower head, your handheld shower sprayer, steam shower, and body sprays in the large shower. I think that's what uh, I see people saying is missing so often in uh, homes in this price range in, uh, in this area is a real master bath. Yeah, I agree. And I agree. This is uh, a real master bath. It's a real master bath. Another another thing that people love is this double vanity, this his and her vanity. A lot of storage space with the floating vanity. It's very dramatic. Self-closing doors. Great amount of counter space. You know when you've got that shared double bolt sink, you it takes up so much room you lack 
counter space. So here you have quite a bit of counter space. You really don't have, you're really not sharing at all here. No. And wonderful ceiling to the any uh, mirrors. And this leads us right into a, an oversized master suite, master bedroom. With a drop ceiling and rope lighting in between, which is very dramatic. This is a lower level room that people are just going to love, Melissa. Nice lower level family room, all set up pre-wired for surround sound, um, super wet bar, and I see you've got those windows in there, which is great. For a lower level, it is very, very light and bright down here. And it opens up to the second level, so if you're entertaining or having a party, uh, people yeah. will be down here and still be in the party. Right, right. And you're only a quarter below grade, so really, um, you do get a lot of light, even in the other bedroom spaces. The wet bar, you have enormous storage again. We're missing the wine cooler that's on its way. It's been on back order. But um, it pulls together the backsplash from the kitchen. The dark espresso uh, cabinets are a nice contrast to the white kitchen as well. And we have a home theater room down here. We do. Yep. In addition to another full bath. So this could function as a nanny suite, as an in-law suite, as Very a, easily. And or, this... Or, or a teenager's paradise. <laughs> or a parent's paradise. <laughs> this is the home theater room. Or, again, since there is a closet and it is a nice size room, it can function as a fifth bedroom, an office, um, sewing room, teenager's room, whatever have you. But the most important thing about this room is it's fully fully wired for projection screen television, um, home theater sound, and this area of the cutout drywalls where all the components will go, they will be exposed. It's not complete with glass shelves and there's a light. The door behind it, you can access all the wires and components from another room, which is really nice to be able to do that. Yet another bedroom here. Number five. Number five. And headed back towards the laundry area. And there's another laundry area up on the top floor. Isn't yeah, there? there's a full on, there's well, uh, a laundry upstairs in the hallway, and then there's um, this laundry room down here with the stationary sink in the storage cabinets. So it's a great option to have both laundry rooms. Someone who has a good collection of uh, objets d'art or uh, knickknacks or whatever is just going to have a, a blast with this uh, hallway here. They could, yes. Because they have an, uh, an endless shelf that probably stretches 35, 40 feet. And just a terrific gallery space here. It is a great gallery space. Excellent gallery space. And we've got at the end of the hall, there's storage under the stairs. There's a very large storage room, which is great. In addition to the two car garage space, which has higher ceilings and allows other storages.